During this shooting tip, I would just like to cover the basic shot types when shooting and framing people. In this first example, we have the wide shot, which is a full length shot of our model. But as you can see here, the model's head isn't too close to the top of the frame, so there's enough headroom at the top and her foot isn't cutting off at the bottom of the frame. So there's enough room at the top and the bottom so that you can see the model in her entirety. So this is a perfect example of the wide shot. Moving on to the mid shot, here I've got two examples of the mid shot. The first is slightly wider than the second. Here I've cut off the model just above the knee, but below the hip. This is um, a perfect example of a mid shot if you still want to keep a little bit of distance. And then the second example moves in even closer where I've cut off the model at just above the hip and below the waist. This is a very pleasing mid shot if you want to move in a little bit closer. In fact, this is a rough approximation of how you would see a person in the flesh if you're having a casual conversation with them. Moving on to the medium close-up. In this shot, again, we don't cut off the subject at natural joints, so it's between the elbow and the wrist, and not too much headroom at the top of the frame. This is a perfect example of the medium close-up. Here we have the close-up. If this was a man, you would be cropping off approximately where the knot tie would be. Here we have our model cropped off in approximately the same place. And as you can see, her head is now cutting into the top of the screen a little bit to keep her eyes about a third of the way down the screen. This is simply to follow the rule of thirds. Finally, we have the extreme close-up shot. Here there's two examples. In this first one, the model is cropped halfway through the forehead, but just below the chin. Again, with the eyes about a third of the way down the screen to follow the rule of thirds. Extreme close-up shots like this are typically used to convey emotion. In this next shot, I zoom in even closer and crop the model halfway through the forehead and halfway through the chin. Again, keeping the eyes approximately one third of the way down the screen.